Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. So, so today I wanted to talk about the Queen of Cups. I want to do what I'm calling a tarot reflection and, you know, highlight the Queen of Cups and we'll also do a reading as well. I have some of my favorite Queen of Cups cards that I want to show you, but let's first begin by clearing the air. I'm going to use a spray. I know that you can't smell it, but it it smells really good. <laughs> it's a mixture of four ingredients, um, Florida water, Palo Santo water, and two essential oils that are specific to me. So I'll keep that to myself, but it really is lovely. So let's go ahead and clear the air and set the tone. Beautiful. Okay. So the Queen of Cups Okay, let's just go through the cards first and then I'll talk about her. First, I want I want you guys to know this is the Witch's Wisdom Tarot. In this deck, this is the Queen of Cups. But I use this deck as an oracle deck. It's not quite a tarot for me. So this is what I'm calling the Queen of Cups, okay? So that's that's my choice. I want you to know that. So isn't this a beautiful card? She reminds me of Calypso um, from Pirates of the Caribbean. And I just think Calypso is beautiful and just amazing. <laughs> I want to be like her. <laughs> so this is one version of the Queen of Cups. We have the Tarot of the Abyss, which is lovely. It also has sort of a Pirates of the Caribbean vibe because she's on a ship looking out at the water. Okay. Surrealist Tarot. I like it, the green. All the green. Oh, I just saw that face right there. Do you see the face? The mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. We got the Garbage Pail Kids. Love that. I love this deck. It makes me laugh all the time. It's a good pick-me-up. Okay. Cosmic Tarot. Very elegant. Vision Quest Tarot. This one is just so peaceful to me. So peaceful and grounded. The Enchanted... What is it called? The Forest of Enchantment. It looks more like air here, doesn't it? But this is what they call the Queen of Cups. I guess she's kind of like a mermaid. Okay. And then the Wild Unknown. So I, I like these. And then this one is the um, Everyday Witch Tarot, which I thought was really cute. Let's do a reading. Okay, so let's get into the reading. As we know, okay, the Queen of Cups represents to me unconditional love, an expanded heart that has expanded so much that she embodies unconditional love energy, okay? And this unconditional love anchors her intuition, her psychism, her emotions. So she's very grounded, centered, and stable. Okay? So these are the qualities of the Queen of Cups. Um, and because of this stability, and, act, and she acts as an anchor to others. So because of this, people really are drawn to her and seek her out and, and ask for guidance and, and these kind of things. Um, and so... The question I guess I want to ask is, how can we expand our hearts enough and embody this unconditional love energy on a daily basis? I mean, that's what I would like for myself. Maybe not everyone wants it on a daily basis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we can ask that question. The other question I wanted to ask is... Because the Queen of Cups is related to water energy, she is a shapeshifter. 
And because of that, it, if you, if the queen of cups is not grounded and anchored and centered because she is a shapeshifter, because water forms to any vessel that it's in the shape of the vessel that it's in, right? If you are in an environment or dealing with certain people, somebody who is very much like a queen of cups energy could easily become off balance. So this would pertain to those who feel like um, they are very empathic. Okay, how do we not get off balance if we're feeling the environment? Because sometimes it can really knock you off center, right? So being a shapeshifter allows us to adapt to our environment, but we don't want to adapt to the energy so completely that we lose a sense of ourself and now we're feeling what the environment is feeling or what an individual, a specific individual or two. You know, we want to stay and remain intact with ourself and our own energy, okay? So the question is, how can we adapt to our environment, shapeshift to our environment, yet still keep our balance and not let the outside energies affect us and throw us off center, okay? So these are the questions. All right, so let's begin with unconditional love energy and how can we, Queen of Cups, if you could please show us, how can we expand our hearts to embody this unconditional love energy on a daily basis? What can we do to expand our hearts, please? Balance, yes, absolutely. And Father of Earth, absolutely. We want to be balanced and remain balanced and grounded. Always be grounded and that keeps us in balance. These are beautiful cards. Yeah, exactly what I was just saying. <laughs> okay, um, what else can you show us? Okay. Clarity. Yeah, absolutely. When we are grounded and rooted, we have balance. And when we have balance, we have clarity. When we have clarity, we can act in love, right? Those are so pretty. I just love this deck. It's just such beautiful artwork, beautiful colors. Okay. What else, please? Here we are. Father of air. Yeah, you see, keeping our mind in balance as well. Keeping our mind in check. Listening to our thoughts and, and weeding out those thoughts that bring us down and, and really focusing in on positive affirmations and and being positive i mean not to the extent where it's sickening and everything is just kind of um what is it called is it called spiritual bypassing i could be i could be wrong with the language but you don't want to be sickening okay <laughs> everything is positive and just ignoring ignoring reality. We don't want to do that. Remember, we need to have balance. Okay. Keep everything in check. Always be in balance. Always be grounded. I like that. That's beautiful. Okay. Queen of Cups energy. Can you show us, please, what can we do to be a shapeshifter, yet not let the environment and others' energy take us off our balance. Moon. Hmm. Okay. 
Can you please expand on this and tell me more, Queen of Cups energy? And this one was standing out to me. We have Ace of Earth and Torment. Okay, so to remain centered, you know, you can view the energies of the environment of the people that you're surrounded with in this situation. Um, you can just view it from your perspective, but you don't have to take it as your own. You don't have to feel what they're feeling and let it, like I said, knock you off center. Just understand it for what it is and just view it, okay? Because otherwise, if you take it as your own, it becomes a torment, isn't it? Now you're overwhelmed. Um, having empathy is beautiful and we, and we need that so we can relate to others, but being an empath and, and because you hear a lot of people being an empath, I'm an empath. And so I don't feel good when I'm in large groups and I can't go and do that because it doesn't make me feel good. No, this is incorrect. Yes, you are an empath and yes, you feel things and that is great. But you can go out and be in the groups and do these things if you are grounded and centered and you don't allow these energies to knock you off. There has to be a a practice in, especially when you're empathic, to practice grounding and centering on a daily basis and maybe a few times during the day until you might have to practice and do it multiple times in the day because if you're not in practice and you're not used to feeling centered and grounded, you're going to have to do it more than once a day. So then when you have these practices, then yes, you can go out and do things and not be knocked off center. It is not healthy when you allow these energies to take you off center and then you avoid things. It, this is not healthy. And so it's important to view, but not allow it to become you and torment you. Okay. And this one is still throwing me off. I'm going to get to this in a minute. And then the Ace of Earth. Yeah, so this is saying this is this is the time and the opportunity for you to begin now grounding and learning to be rooted and stabilized so that you can be in balance. Okay, um, Queen of Cups Energy, please show me... More about this moon energy, please. I just heard because she's related to the um, high priestess. So this is talking about the intuition and the psychism. Okay. And life force energy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, always be grounded and connected and in tune to the life force energy, which is your knowings, your psychism, your intuition, and allowing this to stabilize you along with your grounding practices, rooting yourself in earth energy. And so then you can see and understand the situation, the environment, the people through your psychism, through your knowings, through your intuition, but not letting it move your emotions and knocking you off center. Okay. I don't know if that's repetitive, but, um, that's what I'm getting here. I think this is really lovely. Um, do we want... Let me reach over here. I wasn't planning on doing a card of encouragement, but <laughs> might as well, right? Okay. <clears throat> Queen of Cups energy, please. One last card for encouragement. What would you like to say 
to end this reading, please. Okay, we have <clears throat> we have a few cards. Three. We have be insightful and established. Yeah. It's still talking about the groundedness and you can be as insightful, established, and not be knocked off center. Those colors are beautiful. Every step counts. Yes. So this is like when we are starting our practice of grounding and centering oneself. Like I said, you might have to do it a number of times, like three times a day. Do it every time you feel off center. Every time you feel like you have become overwhelmed because of a person or a situation that you've just been in, ground yourself, center yourself, come back to yourself. Every step counts. The more you do it, the more you get used to being grounded and centered. And the gift of neutrality, that is just perfect, isn't it? To be neutral, you can still listen and understand and participate, but be neutral. You don't have to take on their opinions. Um, and you don't have to express your opinion every time. You can just be neutral and listen. I think this is lovely. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.